How's it going everyone? My name is Ron and welcome back to another video. Today on the menu we're going to be looking at the Easy Revolution 2.0s, specifically the number 10 9 round liner in the long taper. Now I got these off Amazon for around $18.99 for 20 of them in a pack. To get here rather quick, I live in uh, Northeast Oregon, so it took about two days to get here. I believe these ship from uh, Southern California, so it's pretty quick shipping. So these are the newest and latest from Easy Tattoo. Uh, they have excellent customer service, and so we're just going to kind of take a quick look at these and check them out. So if you're interested, you can look at this video and uh, kind of get a hands-on preview of what to expect. So. So these are the bio cartridges. Um, apparently everything in here is biodegradable, recyclable, or it's made from recyclable, recycled materials, including the box and the inner uh, inner and outer outer packaging. So they do come nice and cellophane, which is nice. Um, nice little slogan right there. There is no planet B. You get a nice, um, you know, little certificate here I guess a sticker of authenticity you could call it which is really cool of them to do this is uh easy really trying to step up their game so now I did have a chance to use these on some real skin and then on some practice skin and uh the performances here there is just one thing that I don't really like about them but we're gonna get over that so like I said they do come nice and cellophane nice tight box I love the packaging here uh, these remind me a lot of the Black Claw cartridges, and if you're familiar with Black Claw, they are a super high-end cartridge needle that are around $40 a box, so almost twice the price. So, presentation is nice. The packaging is uh, beautiful, actually. This is like a nice pearlescent, pearlescent, and apparently this is all biodegradable. They do come nicely sealed. They are marked well. Blue sterilization dot lot expiration number. I'm guessing this is a Revolution cartridge 2.0, and then our size and liner. So, nice tight fit, marked on the end. I love the slide out box. Now, I already have one here plugged into my machine. Um, let's just take it out here so we can take a look at it. This is what we get right here. Nice uh, biodegradable cartridge, supposedly. Has a nice positioning system, which is something that a lot of cartridge needles have these days. So, has a nice tapered off end here. Needle rise at the bottom, which is what we want. They have pretty decent tension. They're not the stiffest membrane. Nice solid rebound. It's nice and dished out right here for your push rod. Nice and dished out here for your push rod. A little hard to see because it's white, but it's there. Uh, this end cap here is smaller than the rest of the design, so that uh, enables a better fit. Some of the uh, cheaper cartridges have the end caps here are a lot bigger, and it makes them have like a really snug fit. So. Great little cartridges, especially for under 20 bucks. You can do a lot worse. Now one thing that's probably gonna throw a lot of people off is that these aren't translucent, so you can't really be on top of how much ink you have in your tube. But for me, I, I'm constantly dipping, so I don't really have to worry about, you know, checking on the ink, so. Uh, they don't spit or sputter or dribble or anything. They're a full membrane cartridge system, which is kind of the norm these days. So, um, that all being said, I'm just gonna talk about what I notice when I use these. So when I first used it, I'm like, wow, these are actually quite big for a 10.9 and so I did a little um, research here so up here I have our 10.9 easy 
Now I'll just do some quick lines just so I can, you can do some comparisons here. I have another 10.9 from Antique CNC. And if you see here, they're pretty big. So here's another 10.9 from Zombie. Quite big actually. I have another 10.9 from Mass Pro right here. So, here in the center section, here, this is our Easy 2.0 10.9, our 10.9 from Antike, and these are all long taper needles, and our 10.9 from Zombie. Now, they're just really big for a 10.9, so I pulled out a 10.9 round shader from Stigma and I busted one out. So, the only issue with these. And it's probably just specifically these 10 nines is their grouping. The grouping is not tight enough. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, like the difference between a round liner and a round shader is how the needles are set. So like a round shader has straight, straight pins like that, right? So if it's a three round shader, three straight pins. A three round liner has pins like this that come to a point. So I think the problem that they're running into is they're just not tight enough so and I looked at it through my 40 times eye loop and there is nine pins there there's nine pins but they're just really big they're bigger than a 12 o a standard 07 and when I order a 109 I expect it to be around the size of a standard 127 except except you know it's a bug pin so smaller gauge needles less uh, force going into the skin so I really think they got really close to them. I'm gonna get with Easy and see if they can send me a different box. Uh, probably just a standard 1207, but that is just something to be aware of. So if you're gonna try these out for the first time, I'd probably recommend going with the standard, standard size 12 gauge needles. Just to see what they do. Now there isn't much shake here going on here, so they, they have a great fit for the tube and they put it in a seven round casing, so which is pretty typical for bug pin sets. You put them in 12 or standard, you know, the next size down casing. But yeah, solid construction. Um, I really think they got pretty close to these 10 nines, but they're just a little too, Played out, you know what I mean? They're not, they're not, uh, they're not coming to a point enough to really make it a 10.9. It's more of a, it more or less leaves a 1207 line, but um, the pins are just too spaced out to make it, it performs like a round shader. I guess is what I'm trying to get at. So, anyways, um, these are the easy. Revolution 2.0s, bio cartridges. Apparently, they're all, you know, recycled material. I don't really think they got really close with these, so I'm gonna get a hold of them. See if they can send me a 1207 so I can get some redemption going on. Anyways, um, this video is gonna go on Amazon too, so I'm just gonna plug my YouTube channel real quick. Uh, my name is Ron. I make a bunch of other cartridge uh, videos, video reviews. You can find me here on YouTube. And here I make a bunch of different cartridge video reviews. So, yeah. Um, my name is Ron. This is another video, Easy Revolution 2.0 on the 10.9s. They got really close on these ones. So, um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, just holler at me. Thank you.